And we are back here on Girl Talk. Our guest right now is uh, near and dear to my heart. This is my father. This is Dr. Walter Rail. And we thought since it was almost Valentine's Day, it might be interesting to talk about the heart. He just recently uh, finished a book. It's been published about uh, 50 years in cardiology and the heart. Thank you for joining us. And one of the things I wanted you to share with everyone is a little bit about what inspired you to write this book. Well, I retired from the practice of uh, cardiology and had time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what do you do? You write a book. But when you say retired from your practice, that's not exactly the truth. Well, I really wrote about my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're in it a lot. Okay. Well, duh. Hopefully it's all good stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very important in my life, obviously. Well, talk to us a and, little bit uh, about what's changed over the 50 years in cardiology and just really in the field of medicine. There is more literature written in the last 50 years than there has been forever uh -huh. in cardiology and in medicine in general. Uh -huh. So there is an enormous uh, change in the way we practice medicine now compared to what we used to do. When I started 50 years ago, it was, uh, we had a couple of drugs. We had a little digitalis, we had a little nitroglycerin. We didn't have much else. Mm -hmm. And now we got a whole array of drugs that we can use, let alone talking about the equipment that we have now mm -hmm. compared to what we had then. Well, and would you say too that there's more of more open-mindedness about the the spiritual component when you're talking about the heart you're talking about a literal organ but then it's so much more than that too exactly so it's exactly. i feel like it's broadened <laughs> yeah. the understanding has broadened well one right. of the things uh, go ahead one of the things that you told me i remember growing up is when you first started practicing medicine it was about treating an illness and now right. it's all about prevention right right big big on prevention now trying to prevent all this from happening uh, the thing that's really big right now, past my heart, is the brain. Uh -huh, true. And there is enormous emphasis mm -hmm. on the brain, and they're learning more and more about the function of the brain, mm -hmm. where things are located, where your talking is located, where your sleeping is located. They're how, identifying. Well, all that impacts the heart, though. It, it all impacts really the health does. of the True. heart, for Absolutely. sure. What are recommendations? True. You know, we've got young girls here, and I'm not so young. But when we're talking about prevention, what are things that you think you can do? Even at 86 years old, you exercise every day. Right. Eat right. What are some things right. that you would recommend for all of us well, for, I, for I, the prevention of heart disease? Especially related to stress I'm relief. just going to yeah. say yeah. the same thing. Stress <laughs> relieving. Do yeah. some guidance good. with the stress. <laughs> yeah. Having five kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think one of the biggest things now, as we're emphasizing, is women's heart disease. Okay. It's a whole new uh, bracket of disease. Uh, we used to say that everything that happened in the heart was men-related mm -hmm. and caused by women. Oh. <laughs> That's he funny. did not just say that on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, you've got to come up with a new explanation now. Right, women's exactly. heart disease is exactly. we're right. overtaking men because right. we process stress differently. Right. So what's what's the causing cause? the women's but, stress? Exactly. That's yeah. really what exactly. we need to ask. But some of the differences in men and women is recognized now okay. is uh, with a heart attack, mm -hmm. uh, men it. have chest pain and they go to the hospital. Women have a little feeling of funniness in their chest okay. and they say it's nothing and they mm -hmm. stay home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. and then they die. Right. Uh, see, that's a little scary. I mean, that's heart scary. disease is really one of really. the biggest killers. I mean, we so we recognize you know? now mm -hmm. that women have different symptoms than men mm -hmm. when they're having a heart attack, mm -hmm. and so, so you awareness. have to be aware that there are symptom differences, mm -hmm. and you have to react to them. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't, yeah. isn't jaw pain is, one? Yeah. I thought like jaw pain jaw for pain, women or arm. like an arm pain, back pain, chest pain, okay. dizziness, lightheadedness. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, shortness of breath. Okay. All of these are important symptoms that you have to recognize. Take seriously. Because we can treat you and get you over it, mm -hmm. just yeah. like we treat men. Right. So it, it's a very, very important thing. Now, as far as prevention for women, uh -huh. it's the same as men. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Eat right. Take care exercise, of Exercise. Mm -hmm. And obesity is the big thing today. Okay. With, particularly with young children. Is there a genetic uh -huh. component? And, uh huh. To heart disease? Is there a genetic yeah. component to this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. So if you have and a very, parent, very exactly. Yeah. And on that I, note, we would love to have you keep talking, but we are out of time. Stay with us. We've got a little bit more to come here on Girl Talk. <laughs>